Hello everyone, and welcome back to my place where Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last time we worked on a mission uh, from Mitnick, one of the Nosferatu uh, guys that we found in the tunnels, who actually had us going all around California, uh, hacking into some network hub. Uh, eventually we ended up in Chinatown, where we started exploring uh, the area. We came across a former... People's Army of China, I, I, I don't know, he, he seemed very militant, um, who's basically kind of, I guess, our contact of get, buying and selling weapons uh, in Chinatown. We came across Mr. Ox, a crazy old fucker who gave us a mission to steal some eyes that belonged to this thief named Lin, I believe. And yeah, that's pretty much where we stopped last time. So let's continue looking through Chinatown. Oh. Excuse me? No. Excuse me? No. Oh, hey buddy, go your own way. You walked into me, fuck you. Is that you making that noise, lady? Or a pigeon? Uh, no. Anyways. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, that's... I did not... Re <laughs> I did not realize. <coughs> I thought I was going to enter. I wasn't paying attention to the icon. Uh, Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, so that's clearly lockpicking. Yeah. Alright. Gotta, gotta pay closer attention to shit. Last time in the bar, I grabbed the bottle. I'm about to throw it at the person uh, when I thought that I was like actually just uh, about to talk to them. Hi. Hey, you! You want your fortune read? You give me five dollar, I give you secret Chinese enlightenment. Only stupid person not want to know future. Are you calling me stupid? Oh, you tough! You gonna beat up old man? Oh no, it's senior citizen boxing champ! Please don't break my other hip, Mr. Tough Guy! <laughs> Calm down, I'm not gonna hit an old man, especially one as demented as you. Then why are you still here? You want fortune red or not? Sure. Five dollar. Again, I can't tell if this is being racist or not. Probably borderline racist. Here, tell my tell me my fortune. You're going to get a visitor at your door next week. Don't open door. You Jehovah Witness. They so annoying. Sorry. Your fortune. Sure. Tell me another one. One year from this day, you're going to get mysterious package. Don't open. Music club will own your ass then. I remember the music club back in the day. Your fortune? I remember that where they try to sell you CDs and shit. You going to go to a fancy restaurant. You going to order snails. Don't eat them. That disgusting. Snail very dirty. I like escargot. I thought he was actually going to give me some words of wisdom. I guess for five bucks, what can you expect, eh? Nothing else going on here? Sewers. Alright. Let's enter this uh, temple, I take it? Why, why is there a tin of sardines just chilling here? And over here. Weird. Hi. You just stand there all day? Welcome, kindred. And thank you for respecting our traditions by announcing your presence in our domain. I am Ming Zhao, High Priestess to the people of Chinatown. Can I get you anything? Tea, perhaps? Uh... 
No, no tea, thank you. Ah, that is right. Your kind drink solely of mortal blood, correct? No longer may you partake in the simple pleasures of the mortal realm. A shame. Actually, that's not entirely true. I've heard that you that they can. It just doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like ash or whatever. They just get no... It doesn't taste good to them. Apparently not. I don't know. Maybe they retconned it. I'm not sure. Um, my kind? What exactly is your kind? We are called the Kuei Jin. Though you may know us as Eastern Vampires. It is a grave misnomer, I can assure you. Are you descended from Cain? <laughs> no. We are not simply some exotic Cainite bloodline. But you are a vampire. <laughs> we are supernatural. That does not mean we are like yourself. We are beings returned through the second breath for a purpose. A second breath? The second breath. Our rebirth into the supernatural form. It is a spiritual awakening, not some lowly blood ritual meant to spread a despicable curse. Oh, I get it. Your angels and we're just some lowly bloodsuckers, right? Oh no, dear kindred. You misunderstand me. I mean no disrespect. <laughs> Yo, disrespect this. Um... So, tell me, how are we similar? We share superficial similarities. Quajin feed on essences that can be found in blood, yes. But as we refine our existence, rarely are we lowered to consume the bodily fluids of others. How else are we similar? Most of us are also banished from the realm of the sun. Although we suffer rot instead of burning, the day's light is no more kind to our existence. That's interesting. So as a mortal, you can choose to become supernatural? No, we do not choose. But events of our lives can awaken dark spiritual energies. We are not born of the whims of another as the kindred are. So why are some chosen to become supernatural? The reasons are as numerous as the Quajin themselves. Each is reborn with a purpose that they must find. Once their path is evident, they must seek to fulfill it even if it takes eternity. It does sound as much of a curse as the embrace of Cain. On the contrary, it is another chance for us to find our place in the universe. A chance for transcendence. We are not damned, not burdened with an ancient guilt, as in the legend of your biblical progenitor. <laughs> Funny you guys actually buy into this stuff. I'm not trying to be any kind of, uh, I'm not trying to be uncivil here. Speaking of legends, have you heard of the Ankaran sarcophagus? Of course. The entire city is alight with news of its arrival and speculation about one of your ancient vampire grandfathers and his evil apocalyptic plot. I take it you don't believe it? I mean, obviously she does believe in that. Um, do you know where the sarcophagus is? We seek it, of course. I have two of my best agents looking. It could be a powerful bargaining tool. I was about to ask, why would she be interested in it then, if they don't believe? I guess just because other people are interested in it, she can, yeah, use it as a bargaining tool. Who are these agents? Let me just say that I do not encourage you to seek the Ankaran sarcophagus. I mean, obviously you wouldn't. I do have a few more questions. What can I help you with? I'm looking for a missing Nosferatu. So... The great Nosferatu have lost an agent, have they? It was not by my hand, if that's what they think. Do you have any idea where he could be? I don't know where he is. Perhaps you should speak with Wong Ho about this. Who's Wong Ho? Wong Ho owns the Red Dragon restaurant. He's a prominent businessman who has garnered much respect among his people. If something is amiss in Chinatown, he may know how to help you. Okay. I have a few more questions. What can I help you with? Uh, I had some questions about the Quajin. I guess we can keep going with that. There is much kindred have to learn about our ways. 
I want to know your relationship to humans. Humans? What is it you would like to know? Well, how do you interact with them? In our homeland, man and supernatural live in uneasy harmony. Our mortals see spirituality in all things, and our existence is taken for granted. An open secret is the easiest to keep. You don't hide your nature? We do, in fact. Our purpose is to seek transcendence. Interfering in mortals' lives, or their interference in Quajin unlives, detracts from this pursuit. But you're a priestess to the humans as well, aren't you? My purpose touches many lives. Such is my path. Isn't that interference? I mean it in the most practical sense. Does the parent show the child contempt by protecting it? To help those weaker than oneself is a tenet of my order. I see what you mean. I, I don't see what she means. The mortals of our domain are blessedly humble, simple and content to avoid supernatural attention, which is more than can be said for Western stock. So what are you saying? Were we not all human at one point? It is not obvious, Kindred, that mortality is not the end. Is it then not unreasonable to think that further existences lie beyond? That we are all simply transforming? Yeah, my point exactly. Refreshingly enlightened. This is what we seek, or at least as best as I can explain it to you. Are you really stuck up for a dead chick? I mean, I don't want to say that. You're not sure, why not? No. I am sorry if my words are sharp. Such are our ways. Yeah, if sharp means you keep insulting Kindred. You must understand, Kindred. Though I show you hospitality now. Our two peoples are not at peace. Why do you need California? Really? Can Kindred claim any ancestral homeland on the western <coughs> coast of America? I think not. True New point. is the arrival of Kindred and Quajin alike. Who then is the invader? Can't we all just get along? Things change. Alliances shift. And people are not always what they seem. Remember that, Kindred. Okay. Shifting out of here. I grant you permission to operate in the Quajin domain. For now. May you find your path, kindred. Thanks. I'm actually quite curious about these Quajin. Did I just hear laughing? Um, yeah, I'm actually quite interested about the about the Kuei Jin. Because, um... I'm wondering if, just like the... The Tremere... Okay. Uh, just like the Tremere, who gained their vampiric abilities, I want to say unnaturally, but I mean, I guess there is nothing really natural about vampires, either. They take her here? What is the point of this? Oh, I see. If you're a Nosferatu, I get it. Wow, there's a lot of back alley parts here, eh? Excuse me? No. It's down here. It's locked. Sorry, I completely lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I, I just find them interesting that they're so different from... Uh, 
Like, they're the same, but they're different from Kindred. You know, like, do they even have... Do they have clans like the Kindred do? Okay. Just, just the radio. I, I love hearing the radio chatter. Um, I guess we got the eyeballs that we were looking for in just some random fucking place. Oh, can't go in there. Okay, might as well take the eyeballs back. I mean, he could have literally just said it was across the street from him. The white cloud. You are always welcome here. Here are the eyes. Mm. Yes. They stare ambitiously. Hello, Lynn. Do you like it there? These are an excellent addition to my shop. Here, please accept this as a fair trade. I have another task. If it piques your curiosity. <coughs> um, as long as it doesn't involve eyes or any other body parts. I need you to be a bad luck farmer. Do you know what this is? A poor translation. Uh, no, why don't you tell me? A customer has bought an unlucky talisman from me and wishes it delivered to an enemy of theirs. I need you to place this in the locker of a patron at the Lotus Blossom Massage Parlor so that the bad luck can bloom. Mm. That's all? Okay, I'll do it. My customer has placed a black circle on his enemy's locker. Plant to talisman. Bad luck, farmer. <laughs> sure, whatever. I'll see what I can do. I, 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 you guys ever see the movie Gremlins? You know, the guy that sells... Uh, the Mogwai to the guy. I, is that is that what this is supposed to be like? The the creepy old man? Or even that Simpsons episode, the Halloween episode, where the guy sells like the evil crusty doll to Homer. But also gives him like uh, frozen yogurt. That's good. That's bad. Yeah, anyway. Uh, right. So how am I supposed to get in here? Do you know the way in? Get out of my way, man. Okay. Guess not. I'm guessing down there. So let's save. And hope I don't, um... Be seen. Oh, I thought I could pick that lock. Well then. All oh, right, I had to go back to the Red Dragon, didn't I? There's a lot of weird sounds in Chinatown. Like a lot of weird ambient sounds. Did your dress just fall? Anyways. Was there something else? I'm here to see Wong Ho. Second floor, have a good night. Thank you. Oh. 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 Uh, uh, wrong. 
second floor. Can you press, please? Hello? <laughs> hey, baby. No, I'm still at work. I don't know. Why would I want to rush home right away? Yeah? Like that. <laughs> what else? With a what? <gasps> oh, you're in the kitchen. Yeah, they were on sale, so I bought some. You did too, like zucchini. Where the fuck is she? Is she just speaking on the PA system? What is everyone of the same computer and telephone? Is there like a yeah there is where's your they assistant took they took her who did they take oh the person across the street yeah when we first yeah kiki my daughter they grabbed her they called and said wong ho has meddled with tong for the last time um this might not be the best time but ming Zhao sent me to talk with you ming Zhao? oh of course Please forgive me, but as you can see, I am in a most terrible situation. I am Wang Ho, owner of the Red Dragon. Again, I apologize for my inconsiderate behavior. I get it. Daughter kidnapped. You're stressed. It, you know what? Don't worry about it. But my problems, like, supersede yours. Just want to make that entirely clear, all right? I, I, I understand. Daughter's kidnapped. Terrible. I feel for you, really. But my problems come first. Just saying. <sighs> I'll try to overlook it. Okay, no problem. What's going on? The Tong. A local street gang here in Chinatown just broke into my restaurant and kidnapped my daughter at gunpoint. The Tong grow more bold every day, and now they have my Kiki. So she's a Kiki Hill? <laughs> okay. That makes Taddy angry. You know where she is? I'll go get her. Um, okay, why would the Tong want your daughter? I mean, it's obvious they're trying to muscle him, but yeah. I am a man of some prominence here in Chinatown. I have many allies, but there are also many who would like to see my demise. The Tong have chosen... Oh, whoops, sorry. I, I think I pressed the button accidentally. Uh, they've chosen the coward's path using my daughter's leverage against me. Yeah. Sounds like I need to bring the wood. Or leverage for what? I do not know. I will undoubtedly hear from the tongue very shortly. They will have demands, and then perhaps we will know more. Do you know where they took your daughter? No. The tongue have many... Uh, Wait. Please excuse me a moment. Hello. Zhao. Huh? Yes. How did you... Of course. I see. Thank you, my friend. Your debt has been repaid a thousand times over. Yes. Of course. Goodbye. That didn't sound like Tong. That was... Someone who owed me an old debt. It has been repaid. I know where the tongue are keeping my daughter. Let me guess. The Lotus Blossom? Uh, just tell me where and someone better call the coroner. Kiki is being held at the Lotus Blossom. A massage parlor here in Chinatown. If you bring her back to me, I will help you in any way that I can. Of course, I'll bring her back safely. Thank you. I shall wait here until you return. Strike fast. The Tong will not be expecting anyone so soon. Good luck, my friend. See ya. Can you can you tell me how to get in there though? 
Okay, can you tell Hello. me? Hello. Have you... No, but... Then may the gods light your path and guide you in bringing my daughter home to me. Okay. Why does everyone always give me, like, a million different things to do, but they're like, I, I don't know how you're going to do it. You, That's your problem. Sorry, man. That's fine. I know. I. Uh, okay. I'm going to assume that there is an entrance through the sewers. Because why wouldn't there be? Lotus Blossom 9. You are here. So go behind me, make a left, and then it's B? Yeah, I guess. Fuck. Well. Point B. Here we go. What is going on in these sewers, man? Didn't have these problems in the other ones. Hey, crab nipple, this is crab nipple that. I'm sorry, what the fuck did you just call me? Okay, so, yeah, we don't have an entrance. Wait, I can enter now? I couldn't before, it was locked. Hey. I'm in a combat zone. Start shooting at me right away. Mia Mutengo? Okay, nothing here. Oh, hi. You don't get a lot of customers, do you? You don't get any customers, do you? Ooh. I got me a fancy watch. Oh, bro. Bro. Oh, you 
are so getting dead up. Nope. Yeah, this katana is crazy, man. No? Can't open them? Can I look inside? No, it's fine. Huh. Interesting. Oh, another one here. Very inconspicuous. Ooh, dirty condoms, nice. Do they now? Do these condoms come preloaded with STDs, or what's the patio furniture doing there? Can I play that thing? No, I can't even grab it. This one doesn't have a thing. money envelope. Two fifty. I'll take it. Kiki. You son of a bitch! I can't. I can't breathe in here. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm getting you out. What? Are you a little tall for a tongue? Eh. Tall, you know, like not short. Jesus, all you thugs are the same. Stupid, stupid, and stupid. Thug? I'm not a thug. Are you Kiki? Or, you know what, man the mouth on you. Are you Wong Ho's kid? Yeah, I'm Kiki. Who the hell are you? The Tong Welcoming Committee? Your old man sent me to bust your ass out of here. Oh, I'm so impressed. What? Like you want me to thank you or something? In your dreams, asshole. Keep talking like that and I'll keep your ass in the closet. Okay, okay. Man, you don't have to get all sensitive. I'm sorry, okay? That's better. Now let's go. Fucking mouth on her, man. I can appreciate, like, the sass and the spunk and all that shit, but, like, calm your tits, man. I wonder what's down here. I wonder. Hey! Where the fuck did you come from? guy in there. Alright. Are you gonna fight me too? Oh, you're just chilling. Alright. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Um, is this the bad luck talisman? Yeah. Give. Hey! What the hell you think you're doing? That's my locker, sucker! Look, obviously there's been some kind of misunderstanding. Thought it was mine. Apologies. No misunderstanding. I saw you. What the hell did you put in my locker? You know who I am, huh? You wanna die, sucker? Look, it's nothing. It's a simple mistake. I apologize, alright? Time to teach you a lesson about respecting people's property. Oh yeah, sucker! You're in for it now. 
Now wait a second. Wait. Okay. You know what? You done? Wow, lots of treasure chests. Every time I try to open the door, that's what happens. The fuck? Okay. Guess I'll have to come back later for it. Whatever that is. Well, guess, uh, guess it actually was a bad luck talisman. Because Sucka died. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume Kiki got the fuck out of here. Um put it on uh Wong Ho's tab. Oh I get it now. Kiki I can't leave without Kiki. Oh Kiki Kins. We're we just standing here the whole time oh my god. Let's go through that basement area. I'm kind of curious. See where it leads. No, I could have gone through there. Son of a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna guess Kiki made it back to the Red Dragon. Yeah, and I know that I haven't explored the outskirts of Chinatown yet. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that soon. Wang Ho, please. Was so there something else? Second floor, have a good night. I could tell you do this a lot. Do you like your job? Hey, Andrea. Mm -hmm. What? No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he is not. Uh, hold on, Andrea. Got another call. Hey, Serena. Did you hear about Joe? And yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I know. I was just on the phone with Andrea, and I was all, no, he's not. Yes, he is. Fucking kill me now. You need to fire your fucking secretary. Where's Kiki? Ah, welcome, my friend. I owe you a debt of gratitude. You have returned to me my greatest treasure. Kiki told me how you rescued her. You are a man of great courage and honor. Thank you. No problem. All right. Did you ever find out where the Tong took her? No. I have not been able to find out why they took Kiki. But I fear that it goes much deeper than the Tong. What do you mean? For a long time, I have been trying to clean up Chinatown. It was a difficult job, but the community came together, and we started to take back our streets from criminals like the Tong. Businesses reopened. Families moved back into their homes. What happened? The Tong looks stronger than ever. Yes. I thought that the Tong were almost gone, but then something happened. Their numbers began to grow, and suddenly they had a lot of money to buy weapons. With them followed the drugs and the violence. It is almost worse now than before. Someone must be pulling their strings. I do not know, but there is a change in the air. I meditate, 
but my spirit is restless. The words of the I Ching are dark and unclear. Everything seemed to change as soon as... Uh, as soon as what? I am sorry. I have said too much. Come on, you can trust me. Well, things seemed to change as soon as Ming Xiao arrived and reopened the Temple of Golden Virtue. That was three years ago. I do not mean to insinuate that she has anything to do with the resurgence of the Tong. The two events merely seem to coincide. Interesting. Some people say there are no coincidences, Wang Ho. No. I will hear no more of it. Ming Zhao has been my trusted advisor ever since she arrived. I trust her completely. All right. Let's talk about the information I need from you. Of course. What can I help you with? I'm looking for someone who's gone missing in Chinatown. Who is this person? His name is Barbus. He's a business associate. Hmm. What else can you tell me about him? He's a vampire. Uh, he's in surveillance technologies. Computer geek? I see. I do not think I could find him for you, but I know someone who could. Cool. Where do I find this person? His name is Zhao. He is the man who called me and told me where Kiki was being held. Zhao has many connections. He owns an import-export warehouse in Chinatown. Go and see him there. I will call ahead and tell him to expect you. Okay. Uh, thanks. I appreciate it. Actually, let's let's ask a few more questions. What would you like to know? Tell me about the Temple of Golden Virtue. The Temple of Golden Virtue has been here in Chinatown for a long, long time. Even before I was born. For many years it was old and forgotten. But Ming Zhao bought it and restored it to its former glory. Really? Why would she do that? Ming Zhao holds our culture and our traditions in very high regard. The temple is a symbol of our strength as a people. It brings hope to the community. Have you ever actually been inside? No. Ming Zhao receives her visitors in an antechamber, but no one is allowed to enter the temple itself. She tells me that it is a holy place and that it needs to be left undisturbed. I'm by no means, you know, religious of any kind. Like, I'm technically a Christian, but I, I don't. I plead ignorance when it comes to, like, a lot of other religions. I love learning about them. But especially, like, the Eastern religions, you know, like um, uh, Confucianism, Buddhism, like, that kind of shit, right? Where, like, they actually have temples. I would assume the temples are where you go to actually worship whoever you're worshiping or whatever you're worshiping, right? I would think sections of the temple would be off limits but the whole temple being off limits, where would you go to pray like that makes no sense no one is allowed to enter the temple itself like to me that's pretty sus i plead ignorance on whether there are actually temples where you cannot enter at all again sections of temples i totally get but the actual temple itself that sounds really weird to me Convenient answer. Maybe she's hiding something in there. I will not hear such a thing. Ming Zhao has done much for my people, and I will not have you casting dispersion against her character. Okay, fine, fine. What would you like to know? Where does the guy got a gun around here? Guns? No. Even if I did know such things, I would not tell you where to get them. We have enough problems without telling people where to buy guns. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to know so I can avoid the police. Let's see if that works. I do not know for sure, but 
I hear that Zeng sells weapons out of his herbal remedy shop. Okay, this guy's funny. He he's like guns. We got enough fucking problems. Oh, can you go save my daughter, Kiki? She was just kidnapped by any means necessary. But gun? Oh, I can't tell you where to buy fucking guns. What's wrong with you? What kind of businessman do you take me for? But Kiki, can you can you save her, please? The the tongue they must be dealt with. But no guns. But kill them. But without guns. You got it? All right. See ya. Not everyone can kill people with kindness, Wong. What's on this? Oh, oh, hi. Let me tell you something. You come closer so can hear. Let me tell you something. Kids. Kids don't know nothing. You got that right, old timer. Yeah. See? You see? You? You see? They climb, they not organize. Messy. Uh. <laughs> no one can do it no more. Just shoot, bang, bang, whoever. Cop no good. All a mess. Not organized. See, th this guy knows what he's talking about. No more? So how do... So you know how it should be done? <laughs> Lu Fang, no. I Lu Fang. Lu Fang, he know. Tell me. Uh, how, how would you know? Was, uh, wait, come closer. Yeah. No say too loud. Don't worry. Was hitman. <gasps> I kill, <gasps> kill good. Oh. Lu Fang kill a lot of men. Wow. You're not a hitman anymore? Retired. Happy oh. retirement, Lu Fang. Oh, no good. No more work. No more money. Uh. Yeah. No tell bartender. Secret safe with me, buddy. What do you do for money, though? Got some money, but need more. Got some hidden. Cannot get. Oh? Hidden? Lock away. Need two key to get. Lu Fang only have one key. Oh. Who, who, where's the other one? Lu Fang used to have a partner. Not partner. Friendly. Lu Fang have friend. Oh. Ji Wen Jia. Ji Wen Jia. Lu Fang friend. Oh. Both kill people for money, for people. For Tong. Uh, good Tong then. No. Oh. Bad Tong. Now. Yeah, no, now it's terrible. Yeah. Uh, what happened? One time, man need killed. Yeah. Man very hard to kill. Really? Take both Lu Fang and Ji Wen Jia to kill man. Oh, man. Pay a lot of money to kill man. I bet. Money going safe. Yeah. Lock with two key. Okay. One key, Lu Fang. Yeah. One key, Ji Wen Jia. What happened then? Things get, uh, how you say, weird. Oh? Yeah. Lu Fang no think he trusts Ji Wenja. <gasps> Ji Wenja act funny, strange. Why? How? Lu Why? Fang think Ji Wenja want to kill him. Really? Ji Wenja get shifty eye, you know? Yeah. Lu Fang notice. Mm. Lu Fang read people very well. Really? Ji Wenja, he up to no good. So you can't talk to him? No, we grow apart after that. Oh. No more friends here. Oh. Just a hit man. Stay away from each other. No talk. I'm I'm so sorry, man. So I'm assuming you want uh, Jin Wenja's key. Ning Hai, of course, want key. Lu Fang want money. So where is Ji Wenja now? Ji Wenja make phony baloney fortune teller booth in market. <laughs> he no longer hit man. <laughs> Con man, low life. Ah, that's funny. He keep key on him. Always on lookout for Lu Fang. So the the fucking fortune teller is the other hitman. That's hilarious. Okay. Uh, you got any plans to get the key from him? Maybe. Maybe you can get key from Ji Wen Jia. You kill people. Lu Fang, no. Lu Fang can read people very <coughs> well. Let Lu Fang see you. Yeah, kill people. You kill Ji Wen Jia. No big deal, huh? Did Lu Fang see Drake's fangs? Because that's, uh, that's how you can tell, really. Uh, what's in it for me? I give you money, huh? When Lu Fang get key, pay you 20% of hidden money. Lot of money, huh? Just kill Ji Wen Jia and get key. Sure, I'll do it. All right. Go to Ji Wen Jia in Marketplace. Get key with extreme prejudice. I give you 20%, lah, and make this secret. 
good hitmen never talk nothing. Okay, I'll go see Juanja. Okay, bye bye. Shh, I'll see you around, quiet man. He just kicked the shit out of that door. Next time you go to the bathroom, just kick just kick that door open. <laughs> All right, let's let's go see G one Ja. Let's let's save our game first, though. Oh, look who it is! It badass a Chinatown. You want fortune, Red Mister Superhero? Maybe you interested in making some cash? You, G one Ja. You work for IRS? Oh, no, no English, oh, sorry. Lou said he gave me a share of the money for your key. Wait, you work for Lou? You want key, right? How much he pay you? 20%. What? Lou a liar. You bring him key, he goes see now, say, what deal? I don't know deal. You not trust Lou. Ji Wen Jia, your friend. Oh, really? 20% is an awful lot of money. Wait, wait, wait. I give you 30%. You take care of Lou, I give you more money. God, I hate Lou. Thirty percent sounds good. I'll be back. Goodbye. I'm not gonna kill Lou. I'm just gonna see if you can make me a better offer because I really want to kill that guy. Okay. I also have a prediction. I come back out, he's gone. That's my prediction. That's why. I, um. Well, that's not why I saved earlier, but I mean that's why it's good that I saved earlier. Uh, Lu Feng. Oh God, Lu Feng. Oh God. All right. Bartender, Lu Feng got American history test for you. Can I can I talk to you? Can I not talk to you while you're in the bathroom? Is he peeing again? Probably have to reset his animation. Hey, yeah. hello there again, mister. You find that key I was looking for? Sorry, but G1Ja is offering me a 30% cut for your key. 30%? You think G1Ja can afford to pay 30%? He need money for child bait. Got to buy the comic book and the video game. Ask him about nephew in bathroom, huh? Do world favor. Kill Ji Wenja. I give you 40%. Can't you reconcile? You used to be friends and you have so much in common. None of that matter. Too many years between Lu Fang and Ji Wenja now. Surely there's something other than hate between the two of you. Maybe so. Lu Fang not know. How you can trust man? For so long, he want to kill Lu Fang. Now different, huh? No. Lu Fang not think so. You want him dead too? Fair is fair. Maybe so. But you think Lu Fang want dead more people? I get away from. Retire. No more. So make peace. Uh, you right, sir. Very honorable. Lu Fang want friend, not more blood. I make good or bad blood from all the years. Ji Wenja, welcome to Lufang. I want friend. Great. Doche, uh, thank you. I hope next time you see Lufang, Ji Wenja there with drink too. I hope that too. I mean, I kind of wanted to kill the fucker. Just because he cheated me out of uh, cheated me out of fifteen bucks for terrible. Hey, buddy, go your own way. Don't terrible yet you. amusing fortunes, I will admit. Oh, I'm surprised he's still here. Where my key? You should put your past behind you and trust each other. Why are you fighting? If I open treasure with Lou, Lou kill me because he's sneaky. 
what I do. Trust Lu? Ha! Huh? They're like trusting booze with Lu. You know he's going to drink it, so don't give him opportunity. Aren't you two too old to kill each other? And you'd never get away with it. Maybe, but Lu crazy. He wants to kill Puppy because it bark all night and keep him up. You want me to trust Puppy Murderer? <laughs> he kills puppies? Okay, when's the last time you talked to Lu? Two weeks ago, I said, Hey, Lu, stick this up your ass. And I gave him finger. Otherwise, I haven't talked to him in 25 years. Well, maybe if you talk to him, you realize he wasn't going to kill you. Maybe, but... Then you two could split the money. You both need the money more than jail. All right. I will talk with Lou. Maybe we can work this out. But if he try anything funny, big Lou stain all over Red Dragon. Fair enough. I mean, I probably just lost a whole lot of money. Oh, whatever. How many? We got 29 experience points, everyone. Okay, so I really need to upgrade my persuasion. So we said scholarship and charisma. That's 12 and 12. So nine. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to raise my intelligence for right now. And then the next time I'm going to raise my uh, persuasion to nine. Just because I want to read this book. What is this? You're unsure what benefits can be gained from the stone. You need a computer ability of at least four to use this item. Computer ability? That's my computer. Three. So I need four. So I need one more. Okay. So I'll raise my hacking, which isn't too bad. So I'll get, I guess, eight. One from my raising and the other one from the book. Okay. All right, cool. Um, I think that's going to do it for uh, for this episode. Um, I really like these, old two, these two old men. Um, in a way, I'm kind of glad they reconciled in another way. Actually, I don't really need the money. I, I rarely buy anything anyway. Um, and I haven't really been upgrading my haggle feet to, like, sell items to get... Sorry, to get extra money, so... I'm okay with these two guys reconciling. It brings out the humanity in me. How about that? As a Toreador, someone who appreciates the art and the finer things in life, I like to think that we also, you know, enjoy having high humanity. So, yeah, as I said, it's going to do it for this episode. We'll continue looking for Barabbas uh, in the next one. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.